happy year to all of you. Now, this is the Friday edition of Journalist Hangout. So one more time, we welcome you. I am Citizen Jones. Now, do you know what? It's 50 days to the 2023 election. So get your PVC to be part of the process. Uh, but today on the program, Ngige insists he can't support any presidential candidate. And of course, later on, on the show, INEC kicks off col collection of PVCs at registration areas and wards in rivers, just as exercise rec records low turnout in Lagos. I'm hanging out with Dotun Oladipo. Dotun, I greet you. Happy New Year. I greet you, citizens. And uh, Emeka Madunagu. Emeka, happy survivor. Uh, happy New Year. Yeah, OK then. <laughs> so the team is ready. I hope you are. All right, folks, to our first story. You know, st strengthening our country is more important than winning or losing an election. To true lovers of Nigeria, leadership is not about the next election, but about the next generation, if you ask me. Minister of Labor and Employment, Dr. Chris Ngege, has let it be known that he cannot campaign or for Dent. Now, the minister who was at Alo, his hometown in the Idemili LJ of Anambra State, said, the four frontliners were his friends, having worked with them at one point or another. So supporting one to the exclusion of the others is a no-no. Nigerians, he advised, should vote for any of them, since they were very good candidates with cognate experience in governance. Dotun, is this a good sounding reasoning or a reasoning that sounds good? Mm. Or is it mm. Befe's politics? Well, it is um, what I'll describe as um, the pronouncement of a man who wanted to say it as it is, just the way he feels. And Citizen and Jones, you will recollect that the events that led to the APC primaries left so many people bitter. Okay. And. You see, the way President Muhammad Buhari has tried to run the affairs of the party as the leader of the party, instead of what we used to know to be the norm for the national chairman of the party to be the leader of the party. Now it is the man at the end of affairs in the government, whether as president or state governor, or local government chairman, who are heads of the party at the federal, state, and local government levels. The way he has tried to run the party is to allow people to make their decisions. Perhaps if we go back a little, yeah. you recollect that in the days of former President Luko Shegun and the PDP, the kind of events that occurred before the APC primaries would not have happened in the PDP where you had so many candidates, almost so many aspirants, going for the expression of interest form and nomination form. And Dungigi was one of them. He already took out the 100 million naira. He shelled it out. No many of them claimed their friends mm. bought these forms for them. But we all know we had who these friends are. A, a good thing you know. <laughs> we know who these friends are. So he brought out his 100 million and decided to run, to throw his heart into the ring. And then, I mean, to, to contest. And then somebody comes and says, no, my player is tired, he can't run again. Yeah. My boxer is tired, he cannot fight again. Mm. And that's exactly what happened in this case. He withdrew without even going to the primaries. And if this has not happened, then, I mean, what he said, it's either of two things. Like some others who withdrew for the eventual winner, Ashwa Jibola Ahmed Inumbu, he truly did so. Or he's hiding behind a finger, like okay. we always say. Okay. Because what he has said now is, see, I wanted this, you did not allow me in a free and fair contest. Somebody prevailed on me to step down. So, so, let, let, let me go to Emeka 
by the way, you remember Ngige was his governor at the time. Mm -hmm. Emeka, is Ngige playing safe? Ngige is unhappy. Okay. Can you break that the down? The city minister who was made to stand behind a former senator in the battle for the control of the APC in Anambra State. Of course, you don't expect him to be happy. It was not early um, 2021 20, that the APC recognized the HDK faction, you get supported by Andy Uba, and sidelined Ngige. So, of course, as a serving senior minister, what stake does he have in the party? In Anambra State, because charity begins at home. Mm. What stake does he have in the party? But doesn't Who doesn't end there? Well, it doesn't end there, but of course, he's in Abuja as a sitting minister, and perhaps maybe the most senior, um, the, the, the most senior member of the party mm. in the current uh, government. And you now put him behind. You now make him to stand behind a former senator government risked his um, political reputation, his political fortunes to bring APC to Anambra State. Yeah, right. Took APC to Anambra State, was wooing people to join APC, to pick up APC tickets so when, you, when you they were denied. You can say he's technically a father figure there. Yeah. He, he brought APC to Anambra State. I mean, openly. Mm. Yeah, there are others, like Ato is there and others, who played a role one way or the other. But, of course, Ngige. He, he came out clearly, and he didn't hide. He, I think he won. I think he won the governor. He, no, he ran for the governorship under APC. And but today, he's just merely a, just like a mayor, an ordinary member, a floor member of the party. Mm. So that's part of the thing that you know. Uh, the former stand uh, by the APC man <laughs> as what. And don't forget, yeah, Citizen Jones, don't forget, during the off your microphone saga, mm. in that period when there were some, and he appeared in the National Assembly, you recollect that he had a face-off with a committee where he was telling one of the lawmakers that even Tinumbu is a senior. They were both we were governors, and that in terms of um, the uh, Shakara of Lagos, he's yeah. even more on the street than Tinubu and yeah, others. He's more, he more a Lagos boy. Boy, yeah. equating mm. or putting himself above Tinubu. But he was not even allowed a contest. So it's like he sees Tinubu not even as a contemporary, but as somebody uh -oh. who is not his mate. So that's what if, even asking. If, if you uh, recollect that. That's what he did. What role will he even play? Okay, fine, as a minister, but whatever he will want to do in Anambra, mm. he will have to submit it to Andy Uba. And look back to the history between himself and the Uba family, back to when he was governor, and write down. Of course, definitely. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. has not said it openly, but definitely you can see. No, 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 no. <laughs> we, must, we must stop uh, this okay. discussion. You know, but but Dotuwa and Emeka, I want us to know that in politics, Nothing ever happens by chance. If it so does, know that it was planned to go that way. Of course, mm -hmm. po politicking is all about um, interest. Who, who, who has the upper hand? Mm -hmm. It's like a box boxing contest. That's it. But of course, we have seen that he's not the only one who is staying away from the campaign. Okay. okay. Fine. So, so meaning that another, who is another they, 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 they the need moves on. Yes. <laughs> they, they, right. <laughs> so to our next story, you know. Oh come on. You know, the new fight or new economist will tell you without e equivocation that the production of goods and services requires uh, require energy or electricity as an input. Electricity generation and transmission are a mirage in my country, your country. The startling news as we sit here is that electricity distribution companies known as DISCOs have quietly some would say surreptitiously increase the tariff payable by power consumers uh, across the country. Naturally, users have kicked against the move, describing it as a perfect robbery. Emeka, is it enough to just kick? 
It's not just about kicking. From well, what some stakeholders are saying, we are saying that this is the last, that effectively subsidy on electricity by the federal government has been removed. But people, you know, some others, they are also saying that, okay, if you say you've removed subsidy effectively, with the way NEC, the National Electricity Regulatory Commission, has been conducting itself, it doesn't give Nigerians that hope that NEC is for Nigerians. NEC behaves more, you know, like it's an ally of the discourse mm -hmm. than, you know, for the fact that it ought to play a role, a place role in, as a regulator. In, in the interest of so, the people. In the interest of the people. Of the consumer. Yes. What punishment has it given to the discourse yeah. for their dismal performance? What has it done? Did, how many of the discos have actually invested money? Mm. Invested money in upgrading their in upgrading the equipment in their areas of operation. So you just find out that neck, there's even little hope in neck. So even if you say the subsidy has been finally removed, how are you sure that the discos themselves will not also bring up charges in different ways, just mm. like we see with the banks, mm. what the banks are doing to Nigerians. How are you sure they won't start bringing up some... The estimated billing and all that. And even, they are not even ready to end estimated billing. Mm. Otherwise... Talk, talk less about buying uh, uh, prepaid... Buying meters. transformers or buying, or mm. buying cables or buying all those things. It is still the same. It's the consumers who are still providing these things. Even though NEC will tell you don't buy transformers, don't, it, is the, it is those people, it's the consumer is the customers that are still buying these things. And what is NEC doing? Little or nothing. And it's unfortunate. So it's just about increment, 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 without a corresponding improvement in the services offered by these discos. What you will find some of them doing is that the power that should be shared between industrial, commercial, and residential customers, they load these things to the, to the industries because the industries are paying them money. Mm. And you find out that the people keep suffering. Dottie, you know, my country, your country, is a country of conspiracy theories. Uh, and one beautiful thing about a conspiracy theory is it cannot be proven. But you've heard uh, the Minister of, pa uh, uh, Minister of Housing now, um, uh, said there is a phrase in, in, the, in the disco agreement that you cannot cancel it. Yeah, well, what what um, has happened yeah. is that out of the 11, the management of eight has been changed. Out of the 11 discos? Out of the 11 discos. Mm. So, but one area or what we Nigerians love to do to businesses that we believe are owned by government is that they should perpetually be subsidized. Mm. But it's a wrong approach to business. The moment you don't have alternatives, or even an alternative to what you are running, mm. then whatever you get is what you get. One, most of us, we don't even report to NEC the Electricity Regulation Commission, yeah. when things go wrong. We that go to... Is, is, we, we, is, we that, go, is that the ideal situation? That should be the ideal. It's just like you, not reporting a corruption issue yeah. to ICPC. That's oh, what the law yes, is. Yeah. So <clears throat> if, if anybody should ask me to buy a transformer, I'm going to write in it and say, see what these people are doing to me. Because but we not, don't it's report. Not your, it's not your place. To it's not buy to do it. The, yeah. Number two, sir, is that when these people came, they invested and put From money when down. When you say these people, these people means the, the, discos. the, the discos. It was money with which they bought it. At the time they were buying, of course, we all knew what the dollar was saying then because most of the components that they give to us, they are dollarized. Mm. We know what it is now. So it's just like the issue of petrol. Government says, in June, subsidy will go. So it means 
we should begin to prepare to buy fuel between 480 naira and 600 naira per liter. Don't, don't preempt them. We are not preempting, <laughs> sir. We are not preempting. But it's that is the reality on ground, sir. Preempting, yeah. That's the reality on ground. Yeah. So if these guys are saying to you that we are running this business at a loss, it is no longer government that owns it. Mm. So you have options. You go solar to reduce what you use. Because even going to filling stations now to go and buy fuel, mm. in most places you find it at 250, where you don't want to kill. 300. 300. So you begin to look at cheaper alternatives. Because in the end, sir, the only way, quote and unquote, we can punish them is by not patronizing them. I, okay. the more, especially the moment you get your prepaid meter. Let them, they can't come no, and disconnect no, you. No, no, no. Emeka, let me come to you like this. Mm. Is it true, necessarily true, that we are supplying electricity to one or two countries? Of course, we are under, under certain agreements. But are the countries not owing Nigeria? And we are even, the other day, Burundi also you know, asked to be added to the list of countries to get benefit. help, to benefit one way or the other from Nigeria. So uh, I think... I'm, I'm looking at the map, Nigeria, Burundi. Well, I know they talked about, um, was it a fuel or so? But, you know, certain African countries will want to exploit that big brother role that Nigeria has continued to play unnecessarily. I think Nigeria needs to share that big brother role because we have our internal problems, which are weighing so heavily on our shoulders. Let every country pursue its interest. Yes, I know, in the interest of African solidarity, yeah. we need to help one another. But beyond that, beyond that, internally, things are not looking very good. The discourse, like Dr. Wadi said, are operating at a loss. And now, how would, why would they continue to hang on to a business whereby even the management of some of them do, have been sacked? Do you think selling discussed to them in the first place was good business. It was very bad. The, no, no, the process. Let's not even go into the process. Mm. Because it was fraught with a lot of things that were not in the interest of the Nigerian people. No, we, we cannot sit here and say it was deliberate. <laughs> well, 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 the government at the time says everything was done transparently and in and according to international best practices. But today, a combination of factors has made it impossible for the discos to operate at a profit, to avoid operating at a loss. So there must be, there must be a breaking point. Mm. Because Nigerians cannot continue to suffer. But well, have you heard that the major problem now in the chain is transmission? Transmission, yes. Transmission, mm. yes. But the discos themselves, how many of them are able to wield the power provided to Generated. them? Generated. Yeah, generate. due to one or two problems mm. in the feeder, they just move it to another area, particularly to industries that are ready to pay. Mm. So you just find out that they just keep suffering. You brought different schemes. You brought the NN, N, is it NNMP scheme, yeah. whereby Nigerians will get meters and then pay gradually. What happened to that scheme? I thought that before withdrawing your subsidy, you would have made sure that prepaid meters were given to Nigerians yeah. across board. And prepare everybody for prepare the Prepare everybody, hike. yes. You don't still leave people on estimated billing, what is called crazy bills, and then you say you are withdrawing subsidy. What you are just doing is you are punishing Nigerians. Mm. You are punishing Nigerians. You want to withdraw subsidy of wealth. You are withdrawing subsidy on all kinds of things. So what... Benefit does the Nigerian get for being in Nigeria? Dato, the conspiracy theorists will be at work now, you know. Uh, 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 oh, okay, <laughs> what do I mean? It, it is simply, here, is, here are the discos. They are the, cross, they are at the crossroads. Mm -hmm. Recall that the Obasanjo government, about six months to the end of its tenure, hurriedly put up 10 IPP stations. Mm -hmm. If you remember, we yes. thought that was going to answer our problem. No, to run on gas. So. <laughs> ah, but, to run on <laughs> gas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm already <laughs> what we know has happened with the discourse is that they don't have the power to utilize 
what is produced. If we are producing about 8,000, and the discos can only use about 5,000 megawatts, what are they going to do with the remaining 3,000? Mm. Are we not better off selling to neighboring countries that will pay us for it instead of keeping it somewhere? OK. So, so, uh, may I just uh, throw this in? <laughs> Emeka, if you can help us, you do. No. Uh, Akwaibo yes. has uh, the Ibom power plant somewhere yes. at Ikorobasi. Mm -hmm. It generates 101 megawatts. Mm -hmm. The whole state does not need more than 40, 50. So the, everything is emptied into the national grid. Yes. No, nothing comes back. Yeah, but that's the, that's the law. And that's why a lot of people are saying, can we look at our laws again? Mm. In Lagos State here, the former Lagos State governor, I, I, I recall the Enron, the Enron something. saga. something. It's only the sectariat mm. that is making yeah, use of it. For now, yeah. Whereas that thing can, can go around some other parts of Lagos. Mm. So that's what the law says. You must generate and bring in. So if they are generating and there is no capacity to transmit, yeah. it dies in there. It's just there. And nobody is using it. That's the reason why some people are clamoring. That's like the telecoms. All of these IPPs mm. can be encouraged to run. If I have IPP close to me, it's left for me to decide this month I want to use IKEDC. Okay. Or I want to use IPP. Yeah. I have you have a choice. Sir, there are some phones now that have three SIMs. So you can have mm. all the telecoms in one can, phone. Yeah. And then you decide, okay, um, um I mean, internet service is better on this one. You use it. Call is better on this one. You use it. But in this case, uh, you see, I, you, you, the couldn't have put this on notice when we were in the middle of a biting for scarcity. That would have been pushing, the, pushing their luck too far. But don't forget the law, sir. The law yes. does not make it mandatory to put any citizen on notice. It says every so 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 and so period. Yes, you can actually, actually yes, but they but don't the owe us is that, that explanation. Why? Why is it that? They don't owe us. But why is it but that? The laws, no, no, man was not made for law. Laws were made for man. <laughs> but yeah, we, we but, shouldn't but forget. But why? But that is not the only aspect you know? of the law that needs to be implemented. Hmm. You had the national mass metering program. What happened to it? Why yeah. wasn't it followed through? You now brought the meter acquisition program. Exactly. For people to be paying money, whereas the NMMP was meant to ensure that meters, people meters were, you know, distributed across board. But, but, but it, 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 don't you think there's Dotu and Emeka? Don't you think there's a conspiracy of silence? Nobody seems to be That's challenging. That's what I'm saying. This. The, the government is more on the side of helping the disco so they don't collapse totally. Helping their, helping their, helping their balance sheet oh, so that oh, they don't run help. into fight so that they don't run into bankruptcy. Yes, that's what I talked about next. A lot of them are owing the banks. Yes, that's what I talked about next. Loans. Hmm. And that's what we keep, we keep, I, I said. See, if one unit of meter was being sold, let, let, let's just put a figure to it, at 40,000 naira. Yeah. Because at the time they were bringing it, they were ordering for it, the dollar was 300 naira. By the time it was going to come in, the dollar had become 700. Yeah. How do, you, how do you manage it? Yeah. So that's why these things are not coming in. Some of the discos are also complaining that the meter has been produced locally. They are substandard. Mm. And as such, affecting them. Mm. Have we done anything? Where is the standard organization of Nigeria? It's a whole chain that if we are not uh. careful will keep putting us in this kind no, but, of problem. But you see also where the problem is. Look at a place like Ogun State. Mm -hmm. Ogun State, where you have many industries. Industries are springing up. The residential customers in many places in Ogun State are suffering. Yeah, but will you? They are suffering. But will you yeah. as a producer yes. or a manufacturer see where you can sell your goods at a higher rate and go and sell it no, where? No, does the law, does the law, does is, the law give Does the law say also no. that you must only <laughs> produce power? Look at what it has said. If you give somebody 12 hours of power in a day, he's on so-so-so band. If you give 
14 is yeah. on so 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 band. Yes. 16, another band. 18, another band. And then you now have it. Yeah. Industrial, mm -hmm. residential. And the industrial will pay me more. And mm. you think I'm now going to go to residential? No. That's what. But, but you see, when you do that, yes. when you do that, of course, you will definitely cheat the customers. Because what? It's not just about whether industrial or not. The fact of the matter is that mm -hmm. some of these discos, their equipment are obsolete. They've not okay. invested we're, we're heavily not in, in providing equipment. equipment. Uh, in providing uh, uh, equipment. Uh, uh, right. That is a problem. So they're yeah. just... Gentlemen, it's just convenient for them to divert a, power don't, to industry. start Wahala here. Uh, uh, a disco is not here. We are simply journalists. <laughs> yeah. you know, but it's again, just the truth. We, we may not be able to change the direction of the wind, mm -hmm. but we can change the direction of the ship, don't you think? Yeah, but government should bring back that NMPP, that National Mass Meter Program. Government should bring it back. All right. Okay. Uh, we must make some money. Let's go on a break. We'll be, we'll be back. Please stay. This is Journalist Hangout on TVC. Everyone has a Chivita this season. What's your Chivita? African Natural Resources and Mines Limited is another company that is replicating what government has done in Ajakuta in southern Kaduna. Uh, this company's investment is about $600 million. It's right there in southern Kaduna there. And they've employed a lot of Nigerians as well. Uh, there are others. Ken Smith, the first gold refinery in Nigeria, is located in the Ugo state there. Dukia Gold is building a refinery in Abuja here. These are private sector initiative of Nigerians, uh, a gold refinery that's coming up in Lagos. There's an online license that we gave, uh, and somebody's also planning to build a gold refinery in Kano. That license has been given, and they've started work. This message is brought to you from the Federal Ministry of Information and Culture. It's a new dawn for Nigeria. Oh, better days are coming. Better days that gives us hope and strength. It's a new dawn in Nigeria. The feminine portents a bright future as the people of Nigeria move to vote a man whom they have come to trust. That man is Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu. Vote Bola Tinubu as president of Nigeria. Vote Kashim Shetima as vice president. Bring the Okay, folks, welcome back. If you missed it, we went on the break uh, discussing discos, the, the distribution companies, they have surreptitiously or some say secretly hiked their tariff. Um, Dotu and Emeka, I'm tempted at this point to join Emeka as a countryman, <laughs> Professor um, Chino. 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 There was a country. There was a country. And I'm talking about the country of the ECM. There was a country. Yeah, well, well the population, there's some people will tell you that the okay. population of Nigeria wasn't, well, you know, like okay. you have it today. You didn't have so many industries and all of that. Urbanization, industrialization, right. you know, and, wasn't as widespread as and, it and is today, today. Transmission lines. Yeah, uh, the, 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 the transmission is still on that. Mm. I, I, I heard somebody saying that um, President Muhammad Buhari would get to 22,000 megawatts or so. And I now wonder, even if you like get to 100,000 megawatts, the mm. problems are still there. The major problems in terms of distribution, they are still yeah, okay. there. So right. and it, I align with Dr. Impact in terms of the fact that these discos prefer for their businesses to succeed. All but right. also, Nigerians yeah. must be duly served. All right. With so. Power. Um, don't ask me if we are on NEPA now. Number 29, to commission projects executed by the government of Yaya Bello. A bomb scare was recorded then. The Department of State Services, State Security Service, uh, that's uh, the DSS, set to work immediately after this unfortunate incident, thereby unmasking the suspects. The Kogi State Government is thankful to the DSS for the excellent job of arresting the perpetrators of the Okene explosion. Kogi Information Commissioner Mr. Kingsby Fangwo said 
let me quote him, the component of action and results achieved by the DSS has further strengthened our trust in security agencies, end quote. Not only the enemies of the state now know that they may run, but they cannot hide, or so it seems to us. Well, that's what we, we've always called for. There will always be an attempt to commit a crime. Mm. If we cannot prevent, we should also ensure, but at least we can ensure yeah, it, that the perpetrators... I, I know that it is said that society prepares the crime, the criminal comes. The perpetrators should not go scot-free. And that's why I was quite happy when a few days after they said these guys have been caught. I think we must give kudos to the DSS. Like the other security agencies, they are also doing well. Mm. They are also doing well. At least when we consider the number of issues that we have to contend with for the, I mean, for the security agencies, mm. it's heartwarming that these things yeah, are yeah. happening. But, that but you know, this is an aside. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you are thinking what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that the perpetrators of the crime in Ogun State were uh, a CBN staff, the yes. wife and the family were, were thrown into we're the more. river, you know, if we can unearth them. Emeka, so it is possible to bring these people to book? It is, of course. Of course, it's also been known that ASWAP had moved his, had spread his tentacles to Kogi State. They've actually been given, they've actually been given the security agencies, you know, sleepless nights. You know, in terms of the, 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 the heinous activities they've engaged in in Kogi State. So definitely that they could be caught was, you know, I mean, we should give kudos to the DSS. But again, beyond that, those, the, the cells that they've been able to establish, especially in Kogi State, given the fact that Kogi has shares boundaries about 10 states. Ten, yeah. Country, so ten, the country, cells yeah. they've been able to establish in Kogi from which they are able to move, they're able to, for instance, move to a war, move to different places. Yeah. Those cells need to be destroyed. Those cells must be destroyed. Otherwise, they will just continue by, by to cells, cause... cells, you mean the strongholds? The right? strongholds, yes. Yeah, yeah. They've set up here and mm. there. Because look at this, look at the alleged mastermind. Look at the incidents, mm. the, the, the horrible incidents he was linked to. So you can imagine others like him who are still on the loose. Yeah, yeah. They must be apprehended and neutralized. They must be removed from the, you know, from the society of sane people. And then again, you you, you talked about the unfortunate incident in uh, in mm -hmm. Abeokuta. Really, mm -hmm. I don't know what would make people go to such excess, but. See the in dimensions. Fact, the I, dimensions I of crime in Nigeria need to be studied, because it's not just um, you, you just have some kinds of crimes that are that defy human so, comprehension. So on, on you don't even people, understand what to make some. What to make people go kill a couple, set the house at place, grab the son, grab the house help, throw them into a river. What? Whatever. Whatever what, it what, was. What, what, what? It's it's heinous. Huh. What could, what, 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 what would have justified that? As in they wanted to just wipe out the entire family. Mm. Over what? So, these things need to be very closely studied. Yeah. Dr. So, it, when things like this happen, you, you, you are convinced that it is not doing our best that matters, but what is necessary. I, 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 we talk about impunity. Impunity in our country are promoted by these untouchables? I, I, I think we are gradually moving, I mean, very close to ending terrorism. Gradually. Why do I say so? In the early days, when Boko Haram and ISWAP members were moving, mm -hmm. Kogi was their base you recollect series mm -hmm. of attacks. They flush them it was, out. It was a takeoff point for yes, them. Yes, takeoff yeah. point. They flush them out. For them to be coming back to that place. It means shows some cells are still active. Active. And they feel safe in certain areas. 
So for you to live where it is hot mm. and start running to those areas you believe are soft target, it shows that something is being done. They are feeling the heat. So D Dr. we Go will... D sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Going is a step further by punishing wrongdoing. That's my trouble here. We hardly punish wrongdoers. Uh, unfortunately, that is the situation in which we have found ourselves. And you get to hear crazy things like the wrongdoer is heavily connected. We've said it on this program, allegations have been made that where there is a major um, uh, crime, uh, crime and the legal process is not moving as fast as you want. Yeah. Go and check it. You see a senior advocate of Nigeria there. Yeah. So meaning Be that... Because these days, I hear to win a case, you must know a lawyer who knows the law. Yeah. Or and who knows the judge. One who knows the <laughs> the judge. That is, but it's a common, it's a common <laughs> joke. It's a standing joke among okay. lawyers. Okay. So yes, that the, that's why we're not yeah, getting there. The, yes, the, 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 the lawyer who knows so, the judge, so, that, so, who actually knows the law. Yeah. So but it, yeah. it's a major issue that we need to tackle. That some have called for special courts to try such offenses. Mm. I agree with it. But how many special courts are we going to create? For yeah. every for, for every problem economic corruption, crime. This, we want to create this. one. For this but, so, but, but, and but, but gentlemen, yeah. but you know our trouble is not laws. We have we, we too are, many we are not of suffering them. too many too of laws. Many. There are laws in this country, but they are not made to bite. No, you see also the, 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 I think the judges, the regular courts are overburdened. Do we now need they are the overburdened. regular ones? No, no. I, I think another thing is that uh, maybe one of the things, what the Lagos State Government has done in the last few years, you know, had a family court, special offenses court, multi-door court system. Mm. So maybe some of those, you know, something like that can also be implemented by states. So as to expedite some of these things, so that some of these, maybe things like burglary and some of these municipal crimes can be easily dealt with at certain levels without having to keep the courts, you know, without having to, you know, make them overburdened with such cases. Then again, in the political in the political season, you find that the politicians file so many cases, and these cases keep the courts, the uh, courts uh, the, on their toes. Can, can you believe, as you sit here, Emeka, that there are cases dating back to the year two thousand and three still in courts yes. in central cases wow. of uh, former governors? Yeah, How many of them have been have their cases been concluded, and then you have people who have cases that have not been heard by the courts, mm. regular adjournments. Oh, the judge is ill. Oh, this one is this. This is the prosecutor is not around. The justice system, even like if the justice system, even like the chief judge of the Ariwala, Justice Ariwala, said that he needs real, he needs a real shakeup. He needs to be reformed yeah. so that the dispensation of justice will be quicker. It will be easier for people to get justice to get their cases attended to. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, like these uh, chaps that have been caught in Kogi. How quickly, how quickly will they be brought to justice? How quickly will their cases be tried? Because we also talk about kidnappers, suspected kidnappers, bandits, and all of them. And then people ask the question, how many of them have been convicted? We just hear, okay, we caught this, we caught this. How many have been convicted? These people should be taken to court and convicted. They should be, their cases should be tried and speedily dispensed with. All right. Uh... So we, we are all in agreement, Dr. Emeka. It is possible to bring them to justice. It is. It is. It's just that, like we said, the oh, justice On system. that note, we must move to our next topic, uh, perhaps the last for the evening. Now, with 50 calendar days to go to the presidential election on February 25, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in River State, says... The collection of the permanent voter cards, PVCs, would commence from today. That's January 6th through the 15th. The INEC head of voter education and publicity in River State, acting on behalf of the state resident electoral commissioner, direct, said the collection rev would revert to the INEC LGA offices, you know, in Lagos State. 
the INEC has expressed worry over the low turnout of unclaimed PVCs. The resident electoral commissioner here, Ulu Shegun Agbaje, who confirmed this on Thursday revealed that over 1 million PVCs were yet to be picked up. Now, according to the 16th American president, Emeka, the best way to predict the future is to create it. Yes, of course, it's, it's for you to prepare. To prepare for the future. Mm. For you to prepare for the future, you must set conditions that will and engender, hands, yeah, that, that, will, that will bring about necessary changes because you cannot keep doing the same thing over mm. and over again. And wait for a miracle. From where? From up there. When you have enough, you have the moral agency, you have the education, you have intelligence, for you to do the right thing. I hope he understands me. <laughs> for you to do, for you to do the right thing. This is a country of miracles. You don't believe in miracles? Well, let's, let, let's, <laughs> let's, let's run our country the way it should be run. Yeah. God will do his own, but human yeah. beings should also do their own. After all, countries, where, countries that are working, countries we look up to, countries where Nigerians are running to in their droves, in, you know, we are not... We are built by human beings with one, that's, that's with, you know, human beings like us. Mm. So if we want, truly want, we truly want this country to succeed, we must set conditions that will make it possible. Okay, with this uh, PVC thing, you see, these, the, 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 the voter sensitization, INEC has tried. But the National Orientation Agency, like we've said on this program a, number, a lot of times, is practically non-existent. The NOA should actually be at the forefront of voter sensitization, mm. encouraging people to not only go and pick their PVCs, but to also participate fully in the electoral process. But you find out people complaining here and there. Some saying that um, in some offices, some INEC offices, they have been asked to bring mm. money before they can be given their PVCs. In some places, oh, the, and you see videos. People even upload videos. Mm. to say, okay, I'm at so-and-so INEC office. We are so and so in neck office. Look at people outside. The neck office has said they've closed for the day. Now, look at quickly at the, at the screen. It, it, it's been removed state to state. So many I, I, PVCs. Yeah, it's not just about urging people, but the I neck officials themselves. Now, are see, they see them? Lagos, yes. 1 million plus. FCT, yes. 400,000. Uh, yes, and are the I neck officials, are they living up to expectation? Mm. Don't Nigerians have this penchant for, for complaining too much? <laughs> it's not our country. <laughs> oh, okay, it's our country. Okay, now, now I know. We, we complain a lot more than we are ready to do things. Um, you can't want things to go better. Okay, put simply, you cannot pray for peace without doing those things that will engender peace. Otherwise, that prayer is a waste. This is Jones. One of the things I said on this program, when we had this complaint about there weren't enough machines to register us mm. and do this, all this, and all that. Was that, did we notice that most of those who came out at that, period, at that point were forced to do so because their shops and places of work were locked up? Okay. And the question I asked, when eventually these yeah. people get to register, will they go to pick up the card? Yeah. And that is what is happening now. Mm. Because INEC came, provided machines, and convinced us with photographs and videos that there were even more machines than people were showing up. Mm. So now we are here. Over 1.6 million cards in Lagos uncollected. I agree with Emika. The process we may fault. I also don't like to go somewhere and then good and quality time that I can use to make money, I go and. But one thing I will not do is that I will not wait until the last minute to do yeah. what I need yeah. to do. I won't know that my driver's license is going to expire. But we like this idea of until when the first me, when road safety holds me. <laughs> I won't go and do what is yeah. right. Dr. And if to this. I, I, I hope there will be a law <laughs> to end this. It is not my, my portion craze. Mm. It's a craze. <laughs> but, but it's our portion. It's my portion to call for a break. We'll mm. make some money. Let's go for another commercial break. We'll be back shortly. Please stay.
My brother, my sister, do you know that winning an election is not only about getting the majority vote? For that your candidate to be declared winner of the election, he or she must secure 25% of the vote in two-thirds of all states plus the FCT to be president and 25% of the vote in two-thirds of all local governments of a state to be governor. This is constitutional and every presidential candidate has had to pass this threshold. Even governors have had to make this mark to get elected in their states. We live in one country with different languages, religions, and ethnic groups. This is why it is not enough to have only northern votes or southern votes or eastern votes or western votes. The only way to get elected as president or governor is by gaining enough support across the country and states. Let us make sure that we know now so that we don't cause an issue tomorrow. This message is brought to you by the Center for Democracy and Development, CDD, with support from the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office, FCDO. Again, the Ministry through the Raw Materials um, Agency's Program on Development of Dairy Sector introduced the technology of increasing the daily milk yield of our cows from meager 1 to 1.5 liters of milk per cow per day to over 15 liters of milk per cow per day. And I think, I think that deserves a, you know. Because this is, this is the essence of what we are saying. I mean, if you can move from 1 to 1.5 liters to per cow to 15 liters of milk, I think, I think that's, uh, that's really commendable. This message is brought to you from the Federal Ministry of Information and Culture. Our country one better. Nigeria one better. Who go do one for us? Yes, yeah, so people of Nigeria, they jolly for the better than one shelly for the country. So, as they ready to put Ashiwa Jubala Tinubu as the next president of Nigeria, I ain't get the experience. Where you go fit you stick make our country better, people of Nigeria. For this and many other better team, where in don't vocalize, it could make we all vote Ashiwa Jubala Tinubu for president of Nigeria. Ashim Shetima as vice president. Vote APC. Are you with me, though? All right, uh, we were talking about uh, in the presidential election, which is 50 days from today. And of course, in state after state after state, so many PVCs numbering hundreds in Lagos here, one point something million, oh, remain, million. Yeah, remain unclaimed. Where is the problem? The problem is that we don't pay attention to our civic duty. We leave it to other people to elect those who will rule us. Mm. But I also think that gradually we are beginning to see that we can make life easier for ourselves mm. by digitalizing some of the processes yeah. that we go through. Till date, we are still finding it difficult to computerize and digitalize the birth process. When you know the date of birth of a man, the country should be set to provide that person with the means to vote at 18. Yes. At some point in this country, you see that every four years, they say, go and register. Go and register. Mm. Some people got tired. I did too, until I got what they termed the permanent voter card. If after that, they had asked me to go and register again, I would not have gone. Mm. Because we should be serious. When you talk of IT, in terms of the individuals who are on the, on the field, on that stage, Nigerians count a lot. Yeah. So why are we not using it? Emika, true to type, Abraham Lincoln was right when he said the best way to create the future is by inventing it. Yeah, definitely. But, but, yes. but we are not, inve are we inventive as a people? Are we even thinking of the, <coughs> are we even really seriously do we handling love, the president. Do we love, love this country? Well, the love for the country is relative to what we think ought to get from the country and what the country is providing to us. Yeah, the, but why I'm asking is a, a great a number of millions in this country believe that the man to succeed, President Muhammadu Buhari, would do better than he's doing. But 
they say footprints on the sands of, of time are never mm. made sitting down. Yeah, well, that, that's why I was talking about voter sensitization. Another issue has to do with bringing all these registrations into one. Voter registration, BVN, vehicle license, international passport, NIN, DVN, NIN all of them. NIN. Yeah. Make them just one document, one, yes, yes. one document. Bring them into one process. Yes, you can have an international passport, a, a travel passport, because you need it to travel abroad. Definitely, you won't use your travel passport. You won't use it to go and vote. Mm. What I'm talking about is that the database, in the database, yeah. it is captured that, okay, this person is so-and-so. He, he has a, a travel passport. He also has a voter card and all of that. Because you need the voter card is the only free means of identification mm. you have in Nigeria. So a lot of people use it to maybe open bank accounts or do one thing or the other in terms of identifying themselves. But in terms of using it to go and vote, if we have this issue right now of people not willingly going to collect their PVCs, then I hope it won't affect the election, the turnout at the elections. I yeah, hope it won't I, affect I the turnout. So. Because, I you know, so. average turnout has been around 30%. 40%. Mm. So I hope it won't affect turnout. So I think if you do, it should just be it's better for us to say, okay, you put everything together so yeah. that people, if you don't even need to beg anybody, for mm -hmm. instance, to get like Dr. said, yeah. if you don't collect your driver's license, when you are when your vehicle is impounded by road safety or by VIO, you, run, you run, will do the you will do the next yes, you will do the next thing. So mm -hmm. There has to be a system whereby all of these things, all of these points, all of these things that constitute right. identifying ourselves. Emeka, hey, hey, I hear we must we'll go. The bathroom boys are warning me we must go. <laughs> yeah. uh, but Dotun, remember 50 days to go to the election. And uh, I hope my, my viewer understands that he has 50, 50 days within which yeah. to change this country. Yes. Let people go and collect their It is pieces. possible. Yes. All right, we want to thank uh, the backroom boys and uh, everybody around. That's it on the program today. If you missed a part of this program, join us at 11 later tonight for our repeat broadcast this afternoon. Of course, the program Journalist Hangout is also on uh, YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. On behalf of Dotun Oladipoha, thank you. Thank you, sir. Emeka. Madonna, go. Thank you very much. This is Citizen Jones thanking you and saying bye-bye now. The following is a paid presentation by ShopX TV. Introducing the new Pressure King Pro from ShopX TV. The amazing